What's up, guys? Eric here, and welcome to a very special review. Well, special now because I don't really review the show, but we're going to be reviewing it all season, and that is The Boys Season 3. Now, this is a show that I've stayed away from because it is hard to review because YouTube is so restrictive on what you can do. So I'm going to be kind of very specially jumping around things uh, to get my opinion out there on because there's some stuff especially in the first episode that i just can't like blast out in a review anyway we're going to talk about it as best we can um i'm joined by lance he actually was the one that reached out to me and said hey are we reviewing the boys this season and i'm like yeah why not why not let's do it so we've decided well, to review it i think it's um is it eight episodes this season i think it's eight i believe so yeah so we've we got the first three dropped and now we have five more. So it's going to be interesting. So careful for spoilers because we're going to talk about spoilers in this review. Um, and again, I'm going to try to be very careful about <laughs> talking about some of the things that happen. All right. So uh, also at the end of this video, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to be talking about my contest. It's going to be running through the month of June. Uh, it's a pre-made video, so it'll just roll at the end of this. So just stick around for that and uh, get details on how you can enter to win $20 from my channel Ooh, 20 bucks all right uh the first three episodes came out and uh i hope i get these titles right uh payback is episode one the only man in the sky is episode two and episode three is barbary coast i believe are the three episode titles and before we start talking about details because we both have notes here um i just want to give uh an idea of where some of our characters are so um huey isn't working with the boys really he's uh now working under uh victoria newman who can make things explode as we saw at the end of season two uh and they're working at the federal bureau of superhuman affairs i think that's the right name basically they keep supers in check it's like uh the sokovia accords uh for marvel also he's publicly with star girl and attends events with her although that may be complicated by the end of these first three episodes uh talking about homelander his numbers are dropping everywhere and starlight becomes the more trendy hero um you know and he gets the news that she's going to be sharing a co-captain with him and he's also hiding his unpopular ex-girlfriend stormfront on life support as the world continues to blast him for being fooled in the first place by her. Yeah. And that's messing with him. He's got so many moments. Uh, Starlight's hosting a TV show. I think it's like what American hero. Is that the name of it? American, yeah, American, American hero. Um, trying to fill in the last members of the seven. And one of her ex boyfriends, supersonic, I think his original superhero name was drummer boy. who was in a boy band. He's on that show. And Butcher and the other members of the boys are dealing with a bunch of different stuff. He's trying to be a father for Ryan. That's not really going well. Um, and that's kind of where everybody is at the moment. There's a, there's a lot of other smaller things, but those are the main story beats that kind of come through. Um, I was really excited for the show coming back. Uh, it's been, what, a year and some change since we'd seen season two? Something yeah, like that? Like a year a, some months? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, the first thing I want to talk about, and it will get into your stuff as well, is I love the fake movies that they have within the show and the fake TV shows and the fake commercials. It's so funny because I'm like, I want to see that movie. Did you catch that cameo uh, playing Stormfront? Yeah. In, in yeah. The uh, she's, uh, she's dominating right now in the uh, superhero genre, isn't she? Yeah. I was shocked. Did did you expect that? I didn't expect that I at all, did, I, I think they kept that under wraps, like very well like i did not expect to to see to you know, see charlie's there and, charlie's and, there and we didn't expect front. to see her at all especially as stormfront <laughs> i laughed out loud like right i couldn't hold it in because i said okay now that's just random we just saw her last month as clear now she's uh stormfront right in a film on a tv show that's absolutely nuts Right. Okay. What else you got? Um, also, uh, the idea of a reality TV show where they pick a superhero is so unbelievable, but also so believable at the same time. Because it's like, I mean, we talked about this before. These these shows are all over the place, and they are they're supposed to be reality shows. But then they were also talking about they're going over the script and yep. who do they pick for? The, and I'm like, you know what? 
that's probably really how those things happen behind the scenes. Cause I have friends that have been on some of those shows and they tell me that they're not truly reality shows. They look reality, but they're manipulated yeah. by producers. So it's any like, shock on that at all, especially it, the debate about it, the it was no it was no shock about that at all. And then hearing how Vought just has so many so many networks and like television Vodamundo. I said, mm -hmm. really? You have your own Telemundo? <laughs> they have their own Disneyland. We see that in here. They have their own Disneyland, basically. I said, no, that's just that's just crazy. And the funny thing is, they there's no shame in them because they were celebrating like pride at this event, and it's like they're showing that these companies don't care. They're just doing this to make money, and yeah. that's what I love. I love how self aware the boys is as a show. The way they understand that people know that they're being manipulated by media and that's one of the things that homelander addresses in, in like the big speech he makes uh towards the end of the episode or the was it episode three or episode that two? was that was episode two okay leading into three right so he has that big speech about being controlled and manipulated by vaught and i'm like you know what he's right companies do control and manipulate everybody but i don't want to side with him i, I don't want to side with homelander ever and and then I, I call that the, like, that was one of my biggest, I said, these first three episodes are really the fall and rise of Homelander to mm -hmm. me. Uh, I know I was sitting there with my wife and she's like, this has to be another one of his dreams. Like in season two, where he was like, imagine right. just blasting that whole place and killing all those people. She's like, this has to be a dream. I said, nope. He's really had it, and he's really lost it. Like, he's lost it, but he really lost it. Were you surprised to see Stormfront being kept alive on life support? Yes, because I swear, when they were doing interviews about this season, she said she was not in this season at all. Like, she was right. gone. So when I saw her, I'm like, well, that's unexpected. Right. It looks gross, but... Homelander, you still want a Nazi? <laughs> well, yeah, but then the other thing was that... And it was just like, it was so creepy because he would go to see her and complain about him not being popular. And she's laying in the bed on life support with like arms and legs missing. And I'm like, <laughs> I she killed this old vibe. <laughs> she, yeah, 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 yeah. She, she she's like, like going a whole nother right. way. He's like, he's like, no, I'm the perfect one. Stuff. I'm the perfect one. Like, it's just me. And, you know, it's like you think he can't get any worse, and then it just gets worse, worse. It's just with like Homelander. Progressively worse. It's not just by, like, small increments. It's by right. leaps and bounds. He just finds a way to push the envelope, and it's just, like, dude, like, <laughs> they have to end you. Like, he's – I love Homelander, mm -hmm. but I hate Homelander so much. Right. So I mean, I, I, they have to take him down at some point. At some point, they have to. Now you now while we're talking about him, you said that a lot of your particular notes were about Homelander and his story. Yeah. Is there anything you want to talk about before we move on from Homelander? You want to go ahead and get those um, out? I not many shows could get away with this, but the fact that this man he literally compared himself to Martin Luther King. I know. I got I your said, note. <laughs> I said, "Are you serious?" <laughs> I got your message on Twitter and I was like, oh. I was mm -hmm. shocked. I like my mouth was like wide. It's like hang like almost to the ground. This man compares himself to Martin Luther King mm -hmm. at a dinner. And I'm like, okay, you already you already made your point with the whole starlight and, and deep thing. You're gonna get your way regardless. You mm -hmm. feel as if you're on the rise right now because of your little, you know, psychotic rant. Which is only getting people on your side because, well, they're kind of secretly crazy too. If we want to be completely right. honest, true. You, you just true. played on, you just played on like America's, you know, secret little sadisms. If you want to, so I'm like, okay, you played upon that. You got those people on your side, mm -hmm. but you still lost that urban demographic, as um, Ashley had said. He still lost that. So the fact that he lost that, and then went ahead and said, you know, I'm kind of like Martin Luther King in so many words. I'm right. Like, wow. Right. You're 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 really that far gone. Just the complete disconnect from reality is just he, he's it, go, he's completely gone. Right. <laughs> and I think the whole and and then on top of the whole Stormfront thing, losing Stormfront set it off even more. Right. And then you're trying to compete with Starlight and still get your way because Edgar 
You know mm-hmm. Edgar doesn't care about you like that, no. regardless. But you're also still kind of the most powerful man in the world. Right. So you're going to get your way. Right. And speaking of Edgar, I believe that like every time he was talking to Homelander and Homelander was just giving in every time, I'm like, Edgar has something that Homelander he knows does. he has. And we find out who that is. It's Victoria. Yep. Who has the ability to just make things explode from looking at them, which means yep. Homelander, if she has a second to look at him, that's it. And so I'm assuming that's his like, you know, his his uh, ace card with with Homelander is like, you have to do what I say because I have ways to defeat you. But does he know that? it? I don't think he knows that it's actually victoria yet no no, no he yeah. would go he would go after it so yeah. they have to keep her hidden regardless but which which is why i think she has the whole fake name and, yeah. and everything because if he found out who she was by any chance at all if he caught her off guard he could defeat her but as long as she knows like if she's told you need to go take your homelander now yep. she can do it all she but has to do is look at him they're so busy looking for the soup gun right you, you work with the lady. Yeah. Like, come on, just tell Speaking her. Speaking of, know. we meet Soldier Boy or we meet Soldier Boy and Payback, and we find out like some backstory on Black Noir, which I thought was interesting. I, um, I love so, how they changed it from the comics, though, with Black Noir. Yeah, because he's supposed to be a clone of, uh, uh, of or, or uh, a copy uh, of Homelander. Cult, copy basically. of Homelander yeah, that yeah. They can't talk. Yeah. So, do you think that he still has the same powers as Homelander? Because. I don't. It didn't seem. It didn't seem like. It seemed like he's just a like a super ninja just, character. Yeah, or like they like that. just made him the Batman of right. like that. Oh, in yeah. fun fact, that is the same actor that played Sarah's uh, douchebag boyfriend. You bitch of that, yeah, yeah. I found that hilarious. I said, oh. So, so we got his backstory. You know why he wears a mask now? But he didn't want to, so he resents that. Yeah. So I'm sure that's going to come back at some point. Um, during this, I love how they're sprinkling season. in those, you know, those aspects of like the. Yeah. Uh, of like race, because even with him and then uh A Train's whole sudden woke right, like, right. A A Train that whole story, like A Train, obviously he doesn't he can't use his powers because it'll make his it could make his heart explode. Yeah. So he decides he wants to rebrand himself as like this going back to his roots um African superhero. And I kept thinking, did he watch Black Panther and get inspired by Black <laughs> Panther? I don't know. But he comes up with this stupid storyline, <laughs> like this so interactive dumb. game where people so were gonna play slave. I'm like, this is not you no can't think no. this is a good idea. Even Ashley yeah. said do just know like the look on her face was like this is just not tasteful, dude. And like, then he took his sporty costume, which is supposed to look like a sporty type costume, uh, and turned it into like this, like traditional African like motif or and whatnot. And when he walked out on stage, I was like, "What? Like, come yeah. on!" Like, I Homelander thought he was gonna wear it even when she said fat. no. What was that? What did you say? Homelander still told him he was fat. I, yeah, he was being a bull. He was bullying the deep as well. So we had the deep in this uh these first three episodes who got accepted back onto the seven after all the stuff he did because he left that cult that he was in yep. and now he's writing a book he's making a lifetime movie basically um and he takes him at that same conversation where he compelled compared himself to martin luther king he made the deep eat seafood i'm like this man is come on was that the come same on. octopus i'm hoping it was not me too i, I hope that was, scene man. was weird anyway that would have made it even more weird Speaking of weird scenes, uh, in the beginning, we get that fully large size man body part that Termite had to go inside of. And I found out that that was an actual practical effect. They made that. They made that thing wow. for that scene. Um, but I loved, like, as soon as he was sneezing when he was full size, I'm like, that's going to happen. Yeah. It's going to happen when he does this. And the show, this is one of the reasons why I have a hard time reviewing the boys. Cause honestly, there's very few shows where it's like, when I'm watching it, I'm like, all right, all right. <laughs> and I do that with this show because it does gross me out a bit. Now, some people like that for me. I'm like, I, I can't do it every time, but I like other stuff on the show, but the gross out stuff goes sometimes too far for me, especially with things like that. Um, what did you think of the crimson countess? Uh, Oh. Like basically being a fire wielding Scarlet Witch character, yeah. I guess. I, <laughs> when she just didn't hesitate, she was trying to take out Frenchie, and <laughs> she killed. 
She killed the Homelander mascot. Yeah. I, I said, just wow, in front of the kids. <laughs> you knew in front of the kid, and then you got mad that you missed and still killed the person. Yeah. But you still run. My like, thing is, do they not realize? Like, I, I guess we're supposed to just accept that every person in this world is a piece of shit. Like everybody in here. It like, seems who like do you? Starlight's the only morally good. So dude. far, so far. I mean, we like. Well, I don't know. I guess you know, Queen Maeve is kind of. Yeah, she's she's, not com awful, she's coming around. We'll see. She's got another storyline building. We'll talk more about that when we get to because that's still a, a very like. Yeah. I guess building story within the show. I found Com it shocking that she mm -hmm. was like when I seen her meet up with uh with, with with Billy and she was in that like that basically undercover disguise. I said, wait, is that May? Yeah, it took me a second. Doing? Yeah, because normally the soups on the show wear their costumes yeah. all the time. I did not expect her to see her in regular clothes because her right. regular outfits are terrible. And we obviously get more backstory on Soldier Boy, but we don't know a lot about him yet. We know that he's kind of an asshole and he abuses his power. It seems very Homelander-esque to me, just in a different way. U.S. agent-esque. Um, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm assuming, based on what we know, with his body being captured by Russia, that we're going to see more about his character. And I'm guessing he's not going to be... They're going to do a Winter Soldier thing with yeah. him, I'm thinking. Most but my likely. wife has a theory that the Russians didn't take him. She doesn't oh, really? Think it's the, she doesn't think it's the Russians. Because, okay. of, because of the way that... Um, What's her name? The way she was looking at the plane when when uh, Crimson Countess was like, they took his body. It's the right. The way she looked at the helicopter, she knew it was something else going on. Oh, okay. So that, right. that's that's her theory, and I'm like, we'll see. I, it's I possible. That, it's possible that you know Vought actually has. Yeah. Him. And the the last couple things I want to mention before we wrap it up and give our final thoughts on this is Butcher is now trying to take care of Ryan, which doesn't go very well. I'm sure that story is going to go in a different direction, but we see that he gets a, uh, a temporary compound V formula that gives people superpowers for like 24 hours. And um, I'm going to just call this out right now. He's going to get addicted to it. He's going to get addicted to it. And it's going to be a thing for him through the entire season. It seems likely. like, it seems like he's the 24 hours seem like it passed and it's still in his system. Right. So I'm like, maybe this is going to be a permanent thing for him because it seems to and me he like he's it forever it's almost like he got homelander powers like it was very yeah. clear he was super strong super invulnerable and had heat vision or laser vision and i'm like did he just get homelander powers like, I like it. because he wants to fight homelander anyway so if he got homelander powers that would be pretty intense there for sure uh and the last thing i want to talk about is the big ending where homelander uh gets the deep obviously announced back into the seven publicly and supersonic take kicking off the two minority characters because you know he's obviously yeah. has an agenda um but then he announces that him yeah. and starlight are in love and i'm like what? My mouth was up. again another moment i sat up on the edge of my seat and said Huey is going to flip out. Yeah. Because he's doing he's doing this on purpose to reassert his dominance and it's nothing Starlight can do. Right. He may have dirt on him. But he already told her what he's going to do. He's like <laughs> I have nothing to lose. If you release that I have nothing to lose. So now they're not going to do it obviously for that reason. Uh but yeah, Huey but see the thing is he told her to stick it out. A little while longer while we figure things out and so i feel like she's going to use that against him if he says anything about this whole like homelander relationship storyline um but that's what kind of where we left off but we have a lot of things going. we got kamiko stuff going on we have some stuff with this like little nina character that got introduced so there's a lot of other things we just don't have the time to talk about every single one of them but mm -hmm. i'm pretty sure they're going to be good and we, we, we will be talking about these episodes every single week. We'll have more time to break everything down as we get through. Because this was really was, a lot of it was just setting up the season. And grossing an people out. They did an excellent job. Yeah, like. I'm really excited. So I'm going to score all three of the episodes together for me. Um, I, I want to give it a really high score, but I know the show's got more to give me. So I'm going to say for me, the, the intro to the season, if I just count it all as one thing, is like a nine. It's like a nine out of 10 for me. Yeah. I think they nailed everything. Um, my only issue is sometimes it gets a little bit gross. So I drop my score a little bit, but it's the boys. 
So kind of expect that. What would you give it uh, as a um, score? I I do the same. A nine. Um, I feel as if they they said, "Hey, we coming back after a long time. <laughs> we have to we have to hit the floor running." And right. I, they took off at a train speed. If I could use yeah. that, um, yeah. it's great. It's great so far, and so, I can wait to see what else is coming. Yeah, it's going to be really exciting. We're going to be reviewing this every single Monday for the remainder of the season. So if you're watching the episodes on Prime, you have a whole weekend to watch them before uh, you come back to listen to us chat about it. But yeah, so it should be, I, I think it's one episode a week moving yeah. here on out. We'll see. Um you know, maybe. Uh, anyway, I'm very excited for it. And I can't wait to see where we go with this. And uh, that's pretty much it. So stay tuned. Again, we I have a contest on the channel. We're going to be giving away $20. Um, I'm going to roll a video here in a second. They'll give you all the details in it. And uh, outside of that, we'll see you in the next video. Take care. What's up, guys? Eric here. And do you like giveaways? I hope you do, because I'm going to be doing a subscriber giveaway for the entire month of June, a $20 subscriber giveaway. And it's very simple. Here's all you have to do to enter to possibly win the $20. So you have to be a subscriber. It is a subscriber giveaway. So you have to be a subscriber to actually win. Then you want to leave a comment in the comment section below on any video for the entire month of June. In that comment, you want to leave your cash app name, the one you used to receive money on your cash app or if you use amazon and you prefer to do amazon with a gift card you can leave the word amazon in your comment to be entered to win so either your cash app name or the word amazon again this could be on any video in the entire month of june and then the winner will be chosen randomly and announced live on the first after party of july so if you want a chance to win possibly 20 dollars for simply being a subscriber all you have to do is follow these rules good luck and we'll see what happens in july